said you draw the short straw, or I have, and that has to change this, so bear with me, please so keep me in mind anyway. Uh, so we'll look at So big question time. I don't think there's anyone from the public to ask a question, so we can skip past that one. Item one, public bodies, admissions to meeting, blah 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 blah. Um, it can be now be recorded, which it will be. Does anyone else wish to make their own recording? Yeah, you're right. Item two, apologies for absence. Uh, as circulated, we've had apologies from Councillor Barnett, Councillor Colling, Councillor Fenwick, and Councillor Fernandez, who are to dispensation to so actually approve the reasons for the absence. I need to even do it. Yeah. <laughs> they were circulated by email. Yeah. Okay. Ah. It must be quite late. Right. Ah. Right. Ah. Which we've got all the things to do. <laughs> 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 We can't, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I mean, I can cut it, I can cut it out of the time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Right. If you give it, I think there's a the reason to speaking, which should be fairly well. Given their apologies, I don't mind cutting it out of the time. Right. Oh, let's, let's just quickly go through the reasons and then cut them out. Yeah, okay to approve those? Yeah. 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 Thank you. Yeah. Item three. Members and officers, personal and disclosable pecuniary interests in items on the agenda. Do we have any? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Item four, written request for new DPI dispensations. Mm -hmm. No. Thank you. Number five, consider whether items on the agenda should be discussed in a private session. Do we have anything that should be discussed privately? Item 6, confirm the minutes of the previous committee meeting. Yeah. So, item 7, grants. To note, the list of all grants <coughs> awarded by the Finance Committee. Oh, I, I, yeah, the only thing I needed to report was we, we had some money return, as you can see at the top on the red, we had um, <coughs> nearly £1,000 returned by eight Pine Valley Scouts. Uh, their project was underspent, so they so returned it rather unexpectedly at the end of the last financial year. So, oh, that's nice of them, isn't it? It was. Um, so we were rather more under budget than we expected. Um, we can go out on last if you want. <laughs> <laughs> we can hold a Okay, two, to know no new grant evaluations have been received. Um, that, that's not true. So Councillor Bailing said um, there's one from Chop House and I, I, did, I did find it, yeah. Okay. Is that it? It'll go on the website, so I will, I'll let you know when, when it's on the website and you can all have, you can all have a look at them. Basically there's a drop down menu on the, on the first first page and they're all, they're all behind there basically. Okay, three grants working group. To note, the second meeting of the reformed group by Zoom has taken place, chair to report. Unfortunately, the chair is not here. And we did, we, we did some work on the on the application form and the grant evaluation form. Uh, Councillor Blacker has done most of that work. So, so we sh we've made some changes to that to make them a bit more Streamlined, I suppose, um, and to cut down on the amount of words people were submitting, basically, to, a, to encourage them to be a bit more succinct with what, they were, what, they're, what they're asking for and what they're telling us. Um, and then we've, we've got another meeting plan where we'll be, we'll be doing further work on that kind of stuff. Okay. Just a quick one on the, uh, to the grants committee there. Uh, I do believe that the suggestion that we make it clear in the applications process the things we won't consider. Such as like sports and equipment. I don't know if you've yes. considered that one there, yes. but as long as you're on with it, that's all. Oh, yeah. I could just remind you. Not in the application, yeah. but in the guidance. Yeah, just in the guidance. Yeah. 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 Thank you very much. That's all we're asking. Thank you. So at some point, this will come back to those. It will. It's almost yeah. almost ready. Oh, all right. Yeah. One more meeting, and we should have it ready to come back. When, when did these actually go out, though? When the, you mean, the performance? Um, 
Well, I think I'm going to have to be agreed at a, me at, a, at a meeting of this, so it'll be after the next meeting, basically. So it'll be what I mean is, when can people start the fire? Oh, we can. That's right. 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 That's I bet it's because once you fill that template out, yes, it's right, been right. successful, that's right. what stick to the wind at all, you know what I mean? I would. That's what I was doing. When I'm at a business case, I've been approved. I just feel fine with the place. It's a lot of work going into it. Okay, thanks for following the list. Would you buy a 1415 community assets grant? Have you considered a grant application for Holmby Business Association? Uh, this was for £1,000 towards the upkeep of six community owned defibrillators in Holmby. Do we all know the history for this one? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. No? So at the last meeting of council, seven members signed a written notice for our list to be revisited, which is in our DNA. Would anyone like to? I'd like to um, confirm that I gave some misinformation that has changed since I went to Yorkshire four years ago, which led to the revisiting of this. So I would like to hold my hand up and apologise to everybody to revisit it. But basically, they've changed the rule. We now no longer require the batteries in the room. Do you realise it's a clean cake fine? Fair enough. Fair enough. I can hold that one up. I like the new chair system, it's good. <laughs> Uh, just for myself, uh, we've obviously got an understand anyway, because the scout could turn in some money, and I think that, generally speaking, um, uh, I discussed it briefly with uh, Councillor Wilson, the, um, the, the people that have been used it 13 times, um, and three people have, have, have attested that they think the defibrillators have saved their lives, so I, I personally would like to uh, propose that we just see this one through, and, uh, and obviously offer that to the public. I think there was, there was a, sorry, mm -hmm. Council Yeah, sorry, I just, yeah, I mean, I was really keen that, that there's, and I'm one of the seven people that signed it, because obviously we made the decision and not, we didn't have the, the full correct answer there, but um, I just want to raise the issue about if, if we agree, if we agree to this one, and, and I understand, you know, Councillor Brooks, um, it, 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 it kind of leaves us open to, to, to uh, buying battery, you know, kind of, mm -hmm. Ad infinitum. If we if we agree to if we agree to this one, are we going to agree? Are we going to agree again? And how many are we got? Obviously, the ones that we you know we have a more direct connection with. Yes, we need to supply batteries, but I, I'm not too sure. I'm just I'm just raising, raising that as an issue. Really. Yeah, like we're setting a precedent. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah, I'd like to say a similar thing. I wasn't. I couldn't be at the last finance meeting, um, uh, so I didn't know about the you know the fact that. Part of that reason that it was sort of uh, Joe's misinformation. Uh, Joe's misinformation. <laughs> well, <laughs> the yeah. camera. <laughs> the camera um, is Joe's fault. I don't mind But I, yes, I would have raised a reservation at that point as well for exactly that that reason that Councillor Black has said. You know, there, there are a lot of groups out there that are raising money. <laughs> Having said that, I am impressed looking through the application for uh, how on, on, on the Business Association are trying to raise uh, money and, and so on for this. And, and I think that's a good point. I mean, sorry. Um, I understand the sort of reservations about it could get drawn into a much bigger payout for everyone, but I think we're only funding about a third of the total here. So if we were to apply that to everybody else, I mean, it's not that big a, a, a demand, is it? And I think overall, we've got to look at the bigger picture about could we really not fund these things? And for proving to be life saving, mm -hmm. I think it's uh, difficult. Sorry. No, no, I, I guess I was just going to ask um, do we know how much money this is going to be? Do we know how many defibrillators this are in the. In, I don't mean just on. Uh, this for this application. No, no, no I mean it's like worldwide. Mm -hmm. in, in oh, there's the hundreds. Joan's jo 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 been talking to the Yorkshire Army. So, like so it's not, I think, I mean, it's. Nearly all of them have 
groups or businesses that are saying that they're going to fund them going forward. I mean, I don't suppose one can ever say that those are, that, no. that decision is forever. Uh, but I think, um, I don't know whether Councillor Bailey knows the number, but I think it's, only, it's, it's in the 20s, I think. But in terms of the numbers okay, so across the board, I think. I'm 20 wrong. groups or 20? No, 20 DPs across no. the valley, including our own. Well, I think yeah. in terms of the I ones think. that, that what, that Yorkshire Sweet. Animal Service wanted the parish council potentially to fund. I think it was just a handful. Mm -hmm. Other than that, they're our own. I think it was something like four, which included the one the last one, the one at the Bull Rock Guest House, which was owned by nobody, it would seem, which is a strange situation. Um, but ones like the one at uh, Boot and Shoe, for example, the pub that say they're going to pay for that, there's, there's quite a few where businesses are going to say that they're going to fund the replacement factory. So it's not all just down to the parish council, there are, there are groups of businesses doing it. I think we can take trees and so on, on there in terms of come along, can't we? I think we can, yeah, yeah, depending on the organisation. Yeah. I, th I think the thing is, oh, sorry, yeah. Well, Mary was first. Yeah. I was going to right. say, I was just going to suggest that we, that we, we agreed to pay this one and mm. perhaps refer, refer the whole thing to the grants, the, the grants working party to see what, whether, where, you know, whether we need to make an exclusion or, you know, have we discussed yeah, yeah. that, a full discussion there. Mm. Just uh, looking at the, obviously looking at 60 people, right, the contribution to ours on there, £1,000 a top is um, less than £200 mm. per unit. provide most of the funding themselves. I do believe that's an encouragement for themselves. Setting a precedent could be a setting a precedent that we could consider in the future that did you raise some money or attempt to raise the money ourselves mm -hmm. and then we support you from there on. So I still propose that we do that on there. I agree with Council Blackhead we could be setting a precedent. I also agree uh, that we need to um, to be mindful of um, obviously what this is going to cost us and I'm going to vote for that on there but as uh, Council Wilson also says um, I don't know how we get out of this one really because people's lives are being saved. So I still it's on my initial proposal. Okay. The the idea about the DPIS is that it's they put in the community when you're not going to get an ambulance within seven minutes. So you're not going to get an ambulance to save someone's life. So when you put in for a defibrillator, the idea is that it's a sports centre ideally that's privately funded like at Philip the First or whatever, the schools having privately funded. But if Realistically, the response time is, is is longer than fifteen minutes. You you put a deep in the community because that is the only way you're going to save someone's life, and that is just the bear of it because we just don't have the vehicles. Because people don't call nine 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 for the right reasons. It's like an educational thing, isn't it? <coughs> okay, I think we're moving towards um, approval of this one, are we? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Are we all there? Yeah, I'll Yeah, I'll, re I'll refer, I'll, 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 I'll comment on the kind of the issues that have been drawn up as well and I'll refer it. Yeah. Should we go to the working group? That's yeah. Right. yeah. Okay, item five, budget line 4405, to consider a request for a change of use of grant award. This is for the Chester people. You have money to spend, don't you, on their original grant? Is it very honest? It's £275. Uh, 
how to make chairs expenses. To know what the chairs expense is, well, expense is each one twelve thousand pounds. These are expenses for the drag of the chairs after the May election. Is there anything more to say on that? Bit? Not really. No. We just noted. Ends up the repair of the roof at the Civic. Do I need to read all that? Well, let me let me let me go on to it. Um, so the situation with the Civic is you you remember what we created an earmark reserve uh, for the roof. Um, and I was kind of I was just kind of mulling over things and I, and I obviously uh, just thought well if we paid this if we were able to pay this directly we'd, we'd save four thousand quid essentially because we, we don't pay VAT on stuff whereas if we pay the money direct to the trust we, we have to give them the full forty seven thousand uh, so I had, a, I had a chat to various chairs and various committees and everybody was in agree agreement in principle that if we could make it work um, great the problem is looking through, look, you know, I've been looking at uh, the gov.uk website, and it's not the most clear about whether we can do it. Um, the bit where I thought it was potentially workable, I don't know what, if, try, try, and, try and see if this applies to what we're talking about here. Um, a parish council may make purchases out of its own funds, which it then gives away for no charge. This is a non-business activity of the council, and so it will be entitled to recover the VAT from Kurt under Section 33. However, grants awarded to a voluntary group rather than to the council that represent the group's own funds. So essentially, if we paid the trust, we won't get the VAT back. We won't get the VAT back. That's that's be a couple, isn't it? If we if we pay it from the trust, then. Yeah, we accept it. but do you think this first bit applies to what, we're to what, what, what I'm suggesting we do here? A parish council may make purchases out of its own funds, which it then gives away. Are we giving it away? Are we giving sure, it to the building. trust? So the thing is, though, it's a council, it's a council <coughs> building. It um, is, but the trust <coughs> has the sole responsibility for the repairs to the building. Yes, but we own the building. I'm not disputing that. As an that. asset, so we are allowed to repair the building, claim the VAT back, because it's our building. It's mm. our building. It's I don't think. I think that's the opposite of the facts. I think if if we if if we pay for the repairs directly, I don't think we can do that. I think I think the the rules say that you can't do that. I don't, I, I can see why you would say that, but I, obviously I've been hunting through, uh, hunt, hunting through the .gov website trying to make sense of it all, and, and, it, and it did basically say if we're paying for repairs of our own building, we can't do the same crap. Well, I can. Mm. If I, if I, I, I can. I can I can Fundamentally, we can't we can't deal with this anyway until after the council in May because it's coming out of the earmark reserve and it's over five thousand pounds. So we can't make any decisions at this meeting anyway. So it might be helpful if, if we go away and try and make legal sense of it. I mean, it, just a couple of points. I mean, firstly, are we all in agreement, if you like, that it's a desirable thing to do? 
So they cover half of the plan. Well, it's money, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So they're only, they're only uh, required in the transfer that they do by the year, I think. Well, so no, it's it's taxpayers' money, so if you can do it legally, oh. then I think mm -hmm. there should be time to do that. Mm -hmm. Same as well as Paolo, I mean, we own like bus shelters, so should we pay the bus shelter? You pay the council, do you? No, we own some. Um, well, yeah, yeah, we would, I mean, okay, yeah, we would, we would do that, but. An expensive bus shelter, that's what we could go for. <laughs> That's I'm suggesting that. I mean, I, I think from we're off it, we're in agreement. If we don't have to pay that, that's a good thing, isn't it? Yeah. You know, we all go yeah, that. We've got, and we've got, we've got time yeah. until the annual parish meeting for yeah. college to do a bit more digging and perhaps yeah. to ask for some, ask for some professional advice on okay. this. Because I think it's as Councillor Brooker said, you know, it's a kind of classic. Once we know, we know. You know, we've got to be part of people. Yeah, and, and it may be uh, it may be advice that we can use ongoing as well. If, yeah, it, if exactly. it is something yeah. that is yeah. workable in other yeah. similar situations. Yeah. Yeah. I think this one was unusual in the sense that we were paying for the whole thing. I mean, basically the website saying if there's money coming from multiple sources, we come in instead of doing what we're doing. Um, okay, well let, let's do that then. Yeah. I, I will email you with. And then I'll copy it to my account and copy you in for transparency, yeah. ask him to answer the question. He'll do it for now because I pay him enough, and then that'll be okay. the answer. I, I think there's a couple of points they we made, which is one is that not all the um, the work done by the civic is repairs, so some of it is improvement, and then they raise money externally. Mm -hmm. Now in that case, I think we wouldn't even be able to think about doing the back that, would we? No. So it's purely repairs. Yeah, it's, it's, it's like the problem is, as, as you noticed when you were reading the, the sort of contract that the Civic has with the Parish Council, that they are 100% responsible for the repairs of the building, 100%. Yeah. And there's, there's, down there. there's another section in there, I think it's 3.5 three of that, mm. which talks about that. Which my reading says that we can do it, but that's one yes. of the needs that we've given them. Yes, exactly. <coughs> so, would that mean that when we would be fire escape, for example, would we be able to get that back for yeah. that? Yeah. Because that's not a repair, is it? Is that um, technically a repair? Oh, there's that new I, don't, I don't think the repair, I don't think that's, in, that, that's not, that doesn't exclude us doing it. Um, whether we've sourced outside it. Whether it's with a single payer. I think on that we we weren't the single payer. I think there were multiple. I think there was grant funding in that as well, if I remember mm -hmm. rightly. I don't think it was just us. I mean, we paid the top up at the end at the end because we okay. had yeah. extra costs. But I don't think we would have been able to say that we were the sole funds at right. that point. But there, there have been things where we, you know, we we paid for the fire doors, for example, didn't we? Mm -hmm. Downstairs to the mm -hmm. fire doors. So you can claim it back for like up to eighteen months. Mm. So if we get that closer, we might get a bit more from it back. Maybe. That's all the spears, isn't it? Scout storage will that anyway. By being honest. <laughs> Regardless, um, I think that it, been, it was better uh, our position if we knew where we stand yes, for this one for future. And perhaps if we're doing that, we might could consider what's gone on in the past and whether we could still claim that back. So moving forward, we, we know where we see mm. the payment of that payments, and obviously then we can do what's best for the public first. So we don't have to spend that where we don't need to, but where we have to spend that, then obviously we're obliged to do so. So I'll I, I stick with that one there. If you, if you are happy with the contract, Joe, yeah. uh, uh, kind of initially. If you're not satisfied. Yeah, I mean, I think I think we probably did it. But I, I think if Joe does what we've what we've said, then I, I, we're, we're going to have to speak to our own solicitor as well. I think just for absolute yeah. legal clarity, I think. But I think I think that would be helpful regardless, because I imagine you, that will happen quicker than it will happen. Hey, I'll make an answer tomorrow. Yeah, a good indication. Anyway. That would be a good indicator case, case that we can take it take it to our own solicitor. Just don't want to have a good reason to allocate some funding for the solicitor to inquire uh, at this stage, or is it something we can do as well? Um, I mean, yeah, we can do. I mean, the, I don't think, I mean, the, the clerk's obviously got funding up to a thousand anyway, probably, you know, that's probably would cover it, but if you want to, <coughs> to approve it, 
Pode ver, jogou com o segundo mão. Yeah. 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 The reason this has this come up <laughs> was that, that they are getting bills through for things to do sort of preparatory kind of uh, costs for the roof. Um, but they're not expecting to be paid until May anyway, so it's again it's potential that we could just move it until after the end of the council meeting. Okay. Okay, item ten, schedule of payments. To consider approval of the draft monthly schedule of payments for April. Uh, so, you, as you can see, there's only two that, that really concern uh, that need approval. It's those two solicitors' bills from Rounds Films, uh, the fees regarding the garter side of the building, and the fees regarding the, the boundary line of the Civic out the back here. Um, so, it's just those two particular ones. Okay, do we need to approve those? Okay. Uh, and I just make the point uh, that the ones that are, are kind of in blue, that those are going to be referred to back to last year's accounts, uh, even though I'm paying them in this financial year, they apply to last year. So basically, the, our accounts package kind of uh, you know, works all that out for us, essentially. Okay, item 11 financial statements. You will also know, Accounting summaries for February. Um, I don't think so because it, it all kind of comes, all the stuff comes up in a bit yeah. later about about the um, income expenditure against budget headings and the earmark reserves reports coming in. So unless anybody's got anything they're concerned about or anything they're unsure about, um, noted. Consider, as per the recommendation in the internal audit report, the committee must approve the bank reconciliations cross-reference with bank statements. This is where it's a bit messy, isn't it, because the bank statements don't tie in. Yeah. So, uh, so uh, this this came up in our audit. This is this is a, a new thing that's just come in in the last year, which I know creates uh, well, it means that I have to I've, I've spent ages <laughs> redacting <laughs> the, these and. It's kind of pointless in a sense because we're always we always reconcile because we don't use checks, so it's kind of a little bit pointless really. But we've got to do it. So um, you're basically checking that the cash book figure, which is the um, you're checking within the record. Aren't you? That you're just checking the, the same the, the bank account record for the thirty first or, or the last day of the month matches the uh, the figure for the bank reconciliation statement. And once again, instead of I let it go through them all. Well, I, I think probably Council, Council Blacker or Council Bailey can sign uh, alongside okay. yourself, either of those two. Okay, so we're continuing this, aren't we? Um, are we all okay with that then? Councillors to review the draft income and expenditure report for March 24 in the account summaries. And let me see notes from uh, Rich. Do you want to expand on them at all? Uh, well, I mean, I think we've laid it out quite clearly um, the kind of anomalies and potential things that might, you know, might, you might know when you're going through them. Uh, Obviously, on the income, we were way 
way over the G on uh, 600% over in terms of the money we had coming in from um, what the IT cash then? Significant. Right, yeah, about thousands. Yeah. 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 Um, and then we did get the, the money back from the Civic for the insurance, so that was uh, about £5,000 that came in in the last month as well. Um, and then obviously the Gartside building, I was just making the point that that will be under, uh, under budgeted because of uh, obviously not having a tenant, quite honestly. On the expenditure side, um, I don't think this, any of this will be particularly uh, problematic for any of you. The salaries was, was a bit over due to the pay award and the footlifts. Uh, staff training was over as it's over because of the silkers that both me and the clerk are doing. Um, insurance will be over and unfortunately it's likely to be over again this year coming because of that excellent, you know, which the civics were really valued for to, to nine and a half million pounds or whatever it was. So obviously that wasn't factored into our insurance calculation. So unfortunately that's going to be <coughs> over. Um, then I've made the point about the, the budgeting for the roof, why, why the, uh, the finance management uh, assets budget was under. Um, and then there's various, um, the, the Civic Hall that we, we're all aware was over because of the fire doors and um, what was the other thing? Uh, the the kind of reports on the works needed in the, in the building. Um, and then there's a few bits and bats about where some underspent money was going for the neighbourhood plan when we were going to the road safety in Mount Reserve at year end. Uh, and similarly, some of the case budget line, uh, similar. But we're also being made to earmark as well. Okay. So I mean, it's, it's the end of the year, so there isn't an awful, really an awful lot that you can do. There's, there's nothing particularly corrective that you can do at this point, obviously. But, uh, so we can't see you any further action still? Right? Probably can't really, as much. Yeah. Okay. Um, if we manage to be able to get the money back insurance and pensions but it just really made everything confusing because it wasn't factored into the rest of the salaries figure so it just made my job more complicated you couldn't tell when the percentages in you know you're supposed to look at six months through the year and look at the percentage and say okay we're bang on this you can't do it because you're taking those those things out so i'd like to go back to just putting it all through as the same Code, which is just 4,000 salaries, we'll ignore 4,005, 4,010, 4,015. I can produce a report that does that stuff, but I'll just have to do it manually. But I think personally, I'd prefer it if they're all under one heading. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'll add that. Yeah. Yeah. I think, are you. Are you well, I was just going to say, you're not going to pay it anyway, do you? You have to pay your tax on national insurance anyway, so it doesn't make a difference. It's just how it's recorded. Yeah, yeah. Go back to the creative pass that just created work. I'll make it a bit easier on the ACAR as well. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, that was, that's the problem, isn't it? Because the ACAR looks at salaries, and by splitting them up, it just, it just caused confusion. It caused confusion. Okay, five. Earmarked reserves. Earmarked reserves, as presented, represents the situation year to date. 
councillors to the views in March before. Um, so yeah, I mean a lot of money has been kind of moved into and out of earmark reserves and there's a lot more going to be, there were a lot of earmark reserves going to be created, I mean obviously I haven't started April's uh, accounts yet, but obviously a lot will be created on the 1st of April, a lot of earmark reserves, new earmark reserves will have been created and a lot of other earmark reserves will have been topped up or reduced or whatever in terms of things, decisions that were made at, at the last council meeting. So you may, you may remember that we added a thousand quid to the Royal Events budget, for example. We moved a thousand pounds extra into the assets uh, earmark reserve, potentially to cover the defibrillators, if you remember when we did that. Um, so this, what's listed here is, is all the transactions pertinent to this year that will take place at the start of the next, the next year. Now there are, as I say, there are other ones on top of that, but the, the new ones that have been created um, additional to these, and it will all become clear at the next meeting essentially we're in a bit of a no man's land um, as, as we've just moved into a new financial year, but it will become a lot clearer in the next meeting. Which is important that we, we keep track of these, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. From the next financial year. I think that's a, I think that's a good point because there's lots flying, there's lots of these resolutions flying around, and there's every chance I might miss I might miss one because you know so many and so so many decisions that have been made where you know we're moving a thousand to, from here to here and vice versa, and um, it could be that uh, I need somebody to check. Well, there's still relevant on well, isn't it? Yeah. Money there, yeah, and, and you know, the thing about earmark reserves is council can dismantle them anytime it likes. It doesn't need; they don't need to be there. You can't just you can't just split them up and they just go back into earmark reserves, or you can create new earmark reserves. Yeah. Could, could I ask about three P eight then? The two D playgrounds. Mm -hmm. Have we had any response yet from council? I think they left open that as well. Um, I asked the clerk to, um, because that hadn't been formally closed off, I asked the clerk to, to write to the Stratford officers. Um, and I, I, as far as I know, it still hasn't been formally closed off, but it will get to a point where it is, and we'll think by the time the next sort of provision meeting. We said, we asked uh, Jen to send an email and said if she hadn't responded, that we would just put it back in. That was like two meetings ago. I mean, I've got it on the minutes from the uh, Place Standards Commission, and it's not quite the same thing, but the seven minutes there that we don't want that. Yeah, yeah, but it was, it's all done informally. It's, I know, it's, 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 it's Councillor Crook informally saying it, isn't it? But we, yeah. we just wanted an email saying. Yeah. Well, can we have some sort of that? Well, I think, well, well, I think the way it's been, the last letter was, was, or the last email was actually worded from the clerk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty much said, you know, if we don't hear any more, this is what we're I think the, the decision ultimately is with service provision, I think. So I think that's, so your next meeting, isn't it? Because it was deferred from last, I think. So I think the decision is going to be made at that. That's just July, I think. Yeah, yeah July. It doesn't mean that, well, go on, July. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, it doesn't mean that we're going to have to have any idea what the election bills will be. No. Not as much um, as a sweep. <laughs> well, uh, I don't know. Um, we can rack up a fair of it now. Yeah, so it'll be a, it'll be a few thousand. Yeah, yeah. So it'll it'll dent our earmark reserve. Mm -hmm. So um, a, a home for this money would be cost that elections reserve. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a fair um, point. It's um, it's just a case of you know, there's no reason why we can't allocate some money later on again if we need yeah. it, is there? So we might as well just put it back in. Yeah, no, I think it just needs to be a resolution of the committee. If, if, uh, if, uh, if service provisions say they haven't heard anything, it'll just go back in general reserves and it'll just go back into general reserves. Okay. Thanks, Rebecca. I mean, these earmark reserves are a lot more manageable than they've been sometimes, or maybe times up, haven't they? And, you know, mm. I, I just wanted to, to, to raise the whole mass topograph, whether that, if at some point we may um, just eliminate that. Well, you, got, you, you can't it's eliminate, you, you, the, way, the way the system works is if, if there was any expenditure for, for, for that 
reserve in the previous year, it just sits there, it unfortunately. Just sits there for so, so it, will, <laughs> it, will go, it will go. It will go next year. It will go next year. So well, it's, 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 well, 2025. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it'll just sit there, unfortunately. That's just money doesn't sit in my account that long. No, no, there's no money in it. There's no money in it. It's, money in it. it's just, it's just it looks a bit stupid that it's even there. But the way the program works, it, it, you, you can't, you can't get rid of it. Well, it should be next year. It should be next year. It's not far in the kind of I think from from my angle, I, I just don't like. Right. Put some money sat there. They were put mm -hmm. in for a good reason, but that reason's gone. Well, mm -hmm. it's gone. Let's yeah. put it back in the reserve. Yeah. Yeah. So. No, yeah, we can, we can make a proposal that the Finance and Management Committee makes a recommendation to the service provision to give them that release this money and to send it over to the elections reserve. Well, actually, no, they can't do that, can they? They can just recommend it. Yeah, yeah. Just, yeah. Give it as back so we can use it for the election. I mean, if it goes into general reserves, you can. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. So, so Ed and I just need to ask the service provision to borrow. Uh, what's the word? We've got it. Well, it's 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 return it. You have to have that much yeah. return. Yeah. Yeah. Well, assuming you know, go through the <laughs> When's the next one? Do you know? Yeah. Don't rush. Just will go to the second one. Yeah. No, second chance. Everybody vote. Woo! Yeah. 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 Thank you. Item 12, list of regular payments. To consider the list of regular payments for the new council year. <coughs> yeah, so, so I don't know whether, what, what, if people understand what the point of the regular payments is. So when we, um, when we get invoices from people, if they are unusual ones that we've never seen before, like, like the two from the solicitor for, for the back boundary, you can't, I can't just pay them. They have to be, because they're unusual, they have to come and be seen by this committee or, or council. What this, what this particular list allows us to do is these tend to be payments that are either regular rotating ones or they're things, you know, um, in the case of uh, the money to um, re reimbursing the, the clerk fee for things like uh, Zoom and uh, Microsoft 365 and stuff like that. It was considered that we should pay them quickly so that we're not out of pocket, really, because it's just, <coughs> unfortunately, it's, it's rather hard to pay to pay us outside of the cycle. So these basically are, I don't think there are any controversial ones, but you, you, you know, I'm very happy for you to work your way through them and sit, say, well, I don't quite see why this is on the list. Um, but we, you know, they tend to be ones that come around every year or every month or every quarter or something like that. Um, so I would appreciate it, it makes, makes my work easier, I think it makes the council's work a lot easier if the, this list is approved. I second that. Yeah, I'm, I'm on board. Can I just ask a question about the, the annual contracts, it says it needs reviewing. Yeah, a, 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 the maintenance contracts, yes, yes. It, yes it does, I think it, I think it went out, I think it, I think it went out of date in August maybe of last year. So who reviews that? It's, it's a service provision thing. Um, so I, I, you know, I know it's on there. It's on your program of works, essentially. Yeah. So yeah. it's on your list of things to do. Okay, so it's not us that has to review. No, it, it, doesn't, it doesn't mean. It, it just means that it's kept rolling. It, it doesn't mean that. Um, okay. It doesn't mean that we're not paying him or whatever. <laughs> but, uh, I'm not sure how formal the contract is at the moment. No, it's, it's, uh, but we are looking for one. It's basically one sheet of paper. Well, it's two sheet, two single sheets of paper. It's it's not a particularly. I, I wouldn't value it as a as a formal contract personally. Okay. But it's it, something it should that, be presented. Well, it, it should. Well, I know that service provision are looking at, at a tendering process where it's more. You know, you're looking, you're asking for competitors okay. to to basically, you know, bid on the, yeah. you know, on delivering the service essentially, and then you know, check, you know. Assessing the different competitive tenders. In order to do that, we have to have a spec for for the contract. Okay. We haven't got a spec at the moment. Okay. 
it's it, yeah, it's a bit more than it's a bit more than even then it's going to be really difficult um, because we no, nobody fills that kind of nobody easily fills that range of tasks. So you know, I think it's almost like asking a work was it at Herbert and or Melton or or, or whatnot. Um, you know, some will do cleaning, some will do grounds maintenance, but you pretend not to do it. <laughs> well, I say we've got a provider at the moment, and if um, you know, we'll see yeah. if anyone else comes out, we'll do it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. As regards the rolling in ground, so I right in saying these we were dealing with anyway, don't we? Yeah. That's part of the grant process. Yeah, I mean these, these basically the ones that are written down are all the ones that were basically approved by this. I think they were all, no one one was approved by service provision, and the rest approved yeah. by this committee. So, so essentially they're tied in. Uh, most of them for the term of this council and the one for the arts festival i think for two more years or the three-year contract rather than the full term so um the only point i'm making just because they're on the rolling program it doesn't mean they won't get renewed does it no yeah i mean they, they need to put the grant they need to they need to do the evaluation yeah. as 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 you will be aware i mean i've put the um i've put the Hunley Oh, we have one for yeah, 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 yeah. That's that's a good point to have. So that should, the top one should say home value yeah. patient transport, shouldn't it? Yeah. Um, so when we we're approving this, you can approve that. So essentially, although it's down that it, that it is a rolling grant, because we haven't received evaluation, we, we didn't pay their we didn't pay their thousand pound last year because. Despite myself emailing them three or four times, Councillor Green was emailing them and speaking to them, the clerk emailing them, they never, they never got back in contact with us. But still, you know, what we asked was, you know, was it a four page report? You know, it'd probably take you half an hour to do for a thousand quid a year for four years. Was that um, the home value for that patient transfer? Um, yeah. Why would you have a home value patient transport when the ambulance service provider was walking book? It's not a hospital, it's, it's doctor's appointments, no. is it? I think, I mean, as long as we go through this in the grants process, it, we don't have I don't think that's something we should be doing now, is it? Well, no, we have looked at this at, at other times. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And because we uh, accept this, uh, the yeah, maybe it's just list, uh, yeah. for now, well, obviously, because each one of these grants have to be the grants and then there's no yes. sense of them. Yeah. So I propose, as we request, these uh, are all taken into account in the processing for, for faster payment. Second. Yeah. Second. Mm -hmm. Item 13 tenses. Have you got Jenny Garage yet? Yeah? <laughs> 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 Never getting one. <laughs> 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 so, yeah, so we, um, so we, we're just down to three. No, we're down to two people now who've who've not paid, which is the 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 Holy Garage man who always needs ch needs chasing. Um, I think last year he paid by fax. You are <laughs> <laughs> um, So I, I will ch I will chase him, and then we've got one uh, we've got one allotment plot who's not who's not paid yet. Um, one of the one of the allotment tenants did uh, give up the tenancy. They said that going up by eight pounds was 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 uh, <laughs> what a year. Eight it had not it had not it had not it's gone up, it went, it went up eight pounds over five years. It had not it had not it had not gone up at all through the the, for the last council. But no, they complained about the the eight pound rise and um, gave up the plot. I suggest that's a true Yorkshire than right there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're assuming it's a man. No, there was a lady, there was a lady. Yeah, I was assuming it 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 was a l
they're spending ten pounds. They're always in charge of the finances, David. You know that. They're spending ten pounds on taxes. They're always miserable. Even though they're spending ten pounds for five years. But the, the, the person at the top of the waiting list was happy, happy to take it, she took it straight away. And, and we have waiting lists for the laundry, so... Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Well, we, 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 the, only, the only waiting list we've got on the garage is the clerk's husband. We don't have, a, we don't have anybody on the Hongley garages, mm -hmm. and we've got maybe five or six on the allotments. What? The, <coughs> the Hongley ones are in a bit of a funny location, really. Um, it's, it's halfway down 30, but um, there's a real shortage of banking down there. I, I used to live down there, so I know both the tenants. But uh, um, Mr. Beard sort of lives almost like you know, next to where the garages are, but he does have that massive yard opposite as well. And it might mm. cars. <laughs> um, but it's But yeah, I, I think. Uh, the, the, whenever, whenever the, the private garage, which is very close to it, has ever come up, there's a huge restaurant where you have to get over that. But to be honest, like, more for storage than for putting it down. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, do we need to consider any further actions on this? No. I don't, I, I don't think so. I mean, I've obviously got to chase the, the two remaining ones, but it's, uh, it's a question of whether we'll let her in or whatever. Okay, and then we're noting a number of prospective tenants of the Hungry Vagrant Shopyard in the dark side building. Offers a few thoughts. Yeah, I was, I was meant to be James and Thor, but actually it's not, not attending. Um, yeah, so. Um, Are you going to talk, Well, if you know Richard. Well, I don't know all of it. I know one of the people looking at it is a, is a, mobile, a mobile phone uh, seller who's got another, another uh, shop in Oldham, I think. Is that, is that the right? Uh, yeah, there's, and basically we've got, um, I, I, mean, I won't give too much detail, but we've got, we've got it's with Simon Blythe at the moment, with three um, serious um, contenders. Yeah, contenders for it. Uh, you can see where it goes. They've, they've raised some questions that, that we're dealing with at the moment. Yeah, it's kind of the usual questions about about ability to advertise and mm -hmm. do things with windows and, you know, mm -hmm. kind of planning related stuff. Um, I it's, it's, that building, it? it's a good point. It's, oh, that's that's it's a building, is it? <laughs> <laughs> it's a it's yeah. um, what kind of business is it like? Do you know what, what, uh, what the nature of the line is? Yeah, um, one is mobile phone, one is sort of beauty products and holistic, something like that. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> <laughs> Not Not really. Really. <laughs> I have to say. Um, and the other is um, an organisation involved with um, environmental issues and so forth. And is this, how will they meet that be decided? Who gets it? Is it that, you know, who's, who's that? Yeah. You know, because the transport one, the alternative transport one, and that mm. local one, mm. sounds like it's in line with our, mm. the aims yeah. of the council. Which we have noted, yeah. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I did ask that question actually of Jen, you know, uh, because the decision had to be made outside of so this provision committee um, uh, that uh, Glenn's been involved in, sort of even copied in and stuff yeah. and so on. Um, and uh, looking back on the way this was previously limited, we think we can make a quick decision if, if that's needed. Okay. 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 Any other questions? Okay. Fourteen Hongwan Parish Council Risk Management Policy. To consider adoption of the risk management policy and risk assessment. I like seconds. <laughs> You've got to pledge in writing that you've actually read it. Oh, it's all right. It can't be worse than the NHS one. Completely agree. <laughs> there weren't any red ones on the risk assessment. There were a couple of the sort of. Yeah, I suppose. Yeah, I suppose. Is there anything that Sort of well, most of, I mean, most of them have actions. There's an action plan Mitigate. for them, you know, mitigating action plan anyway with those. Uh, so I, I don't think we've got anything that's troubling. Okay. Except for those that collapsing roof was just going upstairs. <laughs> 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 yeah, we're probably buying some more buckets. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> well, hopefully, if we get the roof, hopefully if we get the roof fixed, which is obviously ongoing, but that will go away. Is that in the register? Next time we come, there'll be some guttering system attached, so it won't get downstairs. You've got you've got you've got lights on the stairs at last. Yeah. <laughs> They are impressive. Yeah. Yeah. It, that, that water will be flushing the toilet, it will be like a grey water. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, Mary. Sorry, Mary. I, I was just joking, a couple of things I just wanted to ask. That this business continuity plan, which sounds incredibly scary, what is um, uh, uh, well, <laughs> the Well, I have you managed to do anything? Yeah, yeah, yes, I mean, we've had, yeah, no, general, general's doing that. It's basically, as, as you will be aware from the staffing committee, it was basically trying to protect the parish council if, for example, you know, staff that. were ill and or, or off off work for some, some months. Mm -hmm. So partly it's to do with things like making sure that we have other officers who can pay for things and make sure that systems are, are, are operating and so on and so forth. So yes, that is that is ongoing. Well, the second thing I want to ask is about I'm sure you know this, but I don't the section one one oh seven money that um ten pound eighty one per executor or can you just explain one one three one three seven. Have I written one oh seven? Oh okay that's you said S one three seven on there but you might have one oh seven. Right, so, no, so that's 106, but there's lots of sections. <laughs> 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 so section 137 is money that the parish council can use to, to, to purchase things that don't have another legal power. Most most things that, that the parish council does have a very clear legal power. So if, if we if we pay for like a like an entertainment event. British Legion Reefs are a good example, aren't they? That's that's section one three seven, for example. So so most of the, so events that's section one four five of the local government act. So that's got a legal power. So most things that we do have a legal power, but there are some things like like Council Grieve says, like wreaths, like Christmas lights, for example. It, it, it was the limits. Oh, the, the, the yeah, limits. I, I wasn't aware there was a limit. Yeah, so, so they... And it, is that unusual? Is that it gets adjusted <laughs> every year. It gets adjusted every year. Yeah. So it's per elector, so it's a huge amount. We never get close to it. Right. Is, it something like, is it something like £11 per elector? Mm -hmm. I mean, how many electors have we got? We've got maybe 20,000 or something like that. So, so, so it's yeah. quite... It's yeah. like yeah. £200,000. Like £200, yeah. like yeah. £200, yeah. £200, it's not a fund that we get, it's just to just say we're doing it for what we can. Yes, exactly. Yeah. 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 But you know, we we normally under we normally under thirty thousand to be honest, we don't get near it. No, I just I wasn't aware there was any limit. I just felt that mm. interest. Okay, so are we happy to adopt the risk management policy and a risk assessment? Mm. Okay, thank you. <coughs> Item 15, internal control check. We consider arrangements for the final internal control check of the financial year. I think that's about me asking Council of Loyals to do it, actually. Yeah, right, my job is to do it. Give me a day. Any Tuesday or Thursday. Thursday night, right? From when? Um, it can't be yet. It will have it will have to be next month because I haven't put there's still some invoices coming in for last year, so it'll probably be May or thought. So we'll be one day? You just let me know. We will May, okay. Okay. Yep. Item sixteen, banking. Yeah, I realise we've I've, I kept threatening to, <laughs> to, to, uh, to, to get this unity trust thing done. I was, I was just wondering, given that we're a few weeks away from a new council, which we may have new chairs and a new chairman of council, or new chair of council, that we would only be doing all this, all the same process again. And I did wonder if it was just sensible to just delay it until after the 18th or whatever the council meeting is. Seems sensible to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so I've just done one with Unity Trust. 
um, and actually um, across most the, all the signatures have been uh, they, they do the um, um, they do the money laundering checks automatically and the identification verification automatically. So as long as um, whoever the name is put down has lived at the home address for like over three years, it just goes straight through. You don't need to do hardly any of the hard work that you'd have to have mm. three banks. Yeah. Um, and so your advantage with it is perhaps um, that you could just set up a whole load of people. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? And then, I and then um, it's what authorizations you, you, you give them. So you might set a load of people up, but then yeah, I suppose I suppose that's a, that's a fair point. I mean, at the moment, the system we've got, as agreed, is that it's the chairman, the, ch the chairs of the committees. However, like you say, you could have people where that's their agreed role. They don't need to be chairs. They could just be yeah. nominated bank mandated teams, yeah. and we wouldn't have to worry about. Or you could set. Or the alternative would be put all twenty three on, but it is just a case of you know you're, you're setting them up. And, and whilst 23 mm -hmm. could authorise it, it is actually quite, there's only the chair that actually does that job in the UK. Yeah, like there's your DR. Mm. And then, because we've always got this issue, haven't we, where you set three, you set three or four people mm -hmm. up and then something changes, and then if, if there's been a lot of change, it can, be, it can become a bit of an issue, and it's how long it takes to get somebody on there. Um, I just wonder whether, I mean, there is a bit involved, because you would give, all that background information, but then the automatic checks are just automatically mm. put. I was amazed, really, really amazed at how, how, how slick it was. Well, what, 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 do you, what do members think is, is sensible to just go with the same system we've got, which is that the, the chair of the committee are basically the mandated people for one year, for the entire year, and then, they, and then when the new council is formed. Tell my sheep. <laughs> I could suggest that people like volunteered and then put others at chairs like do what we normally do, but everybody could do it just in case something happened. So like Billy Charles's idea that I mean, I, I personally, I think that having the how many committee, how many committees? Are, so it was, it was, a, it, we got five, we got five committees plus the chair plus the vice chair. I mean, I think seven people to get two. Do you have two signatures, council agreed? Yeah. So, yeah. so, so, so two, two or three. Oh, two or three. Right? Yeah. And so, so basically, what happens is people log on, they approve, as soon as the second one approves, the money is paid. Yeah, right so, back. so that would work. Um, I forgot what the rules are called, once ones. The creator one would be CLAG, and the confirmal rule <coughs> would be council. Yeah. And then, and then, so that gives you two stages. So that all three CLAGs would want to be set on creators, and um, realistically, you might have some councillors who are like reserves for creating just in case they need to have five from team one, but it's hard to think all three would go in one group. Like um, quick. But that, that's, it's, that it's, well, it's an issue where there's, it's a single, where, where there's a single clerk, they, they do raise that as an issue because if the clerk is <coughs> you've got the problem. Yeah. Whereas with that, I don't think that's likely um, as a result. Um, and then the councillors are, are your, your confirmers, so then you've got the choice of do you have two or do you have three? I think, I mean, we currently have two, two so I think we should just have two. What, well, so when I said two or three, it'd be creator plus two, one confirmer, or creator plus two confirmers. Yeah, yeah. Just depends how you want to do it. I would just keep it as we, as we are now and have two people essentially approving payments. Yeah. I mean, I'd be inclined to just stick with the system we've got and just, yeah. and just use the chairs and the vice chair of council and the chair of council. Um, I think that's it. I think that's enough people. I, I personally, I think it would get too messy if we end up with twenty three signatures. You could add, you could add to it as time went by. Wouldn't necessarily yeah. take anybody off. That's, that's yeah. the other bit of it. With that kind of yeah. with that kind of system, you don't you don't need to have you don't need to change those mandates like you, you would need to do with like the checks. Yeah. Even where people move around from chair of one committee to another, they're still there, aren't they? Yeah. So, it's not necessarily new signatures that you need. 
I mean, the, the, the first thing is whether we're going to delay it or whether the government votes it on that year. Or that, my suggestion would be that's three things we do it now and delay it. Yeah. Is that right? The note, financial records have been added to the website. Okay. Item 18. I need to slow down a bit. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> the the work of the Home Valley Parish Council to consider recent events or news that this committee wishes to publicise via the press, parish council website, or social media. Can I, can I make, make one thing that I think would be quite helpful? I mean, I, I, I don't necessarily always share these, but I probably should, should start. Um, do you think we could start going out, you, know, you as council go out, go out and uh, visit the places that we've given money to? Um, because we don't, we're not very good at that. I know Catherine Clacker, you went, where did you go? Mulldale. Um, and we were invited by Upper Farm Cricket Club, for example, to go, to go and see what, what they've done with our, with our money. And I think it would be quite useful in terms of publicising what, what we do to um, go out and, uh, you know, and that, that I think we should probably be a bit proactive about it, not just waiting for them to, to ask, but actually saying, can we come and, can you come and show us around what we're doing with money, blah, 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 blah. Are we going as councillors though? Because if I'm going to a cricket club, I might be drinking. I'll do it. It's not like council behaviours, Jenny. It's council behaviours. I'm worried about. How many pints are you not a councillor? Not two pints on normal. I've asked this question before. Standards don't really answer. I think it's a bit of 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 a yeah, yeah. Don't be clear. Don't be clear. I'm not saying that you. I'm not saying you. I'm not saying you can't go and go and see other places. But I think it would be nice building that relationship. You can hear to other cricket clubs as well. It's not. Oh. <laughs> yeah, but we didn't give any money to anyone else. Is that what's so special? Yeah. Given the number of grants, how would we sort out which way we can't? Not go to the other one, can we? No, no. But I don't think it's just. If, if, if there's something that you would like to know, I'm going to be facetious. I'm going to be brain to myself. I'm going to be facetious. 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 I'm
torches for you know there's budgets for travel. If you end if you end up yeah. using petrol to go X Y Z, there's really money there to put. No, that is not in our vision of the Sorry, John Parkin as well. Yes, chair. Yeah. <laughs> Double down the next meeting. For a degree. Okay, I think you're all going to have to leave. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, everyone. Thank you.